Hello everyone, today we are watching Beauty and the Beast. We're on a mission to watch most of the Disney movies. I skipped a few because you guys know why I'm not gonna read for myself. Sorry for the lack of new videos this past like few weeks. I have been making a really really big effort to upload all of my full reactions. It's taken me so long because they're like hours long. If you are interested in joining my Patreon, my link is in my description box always and here's a list of movies and shows that are already out in case you want to stop on by. I don't remember watching this movie. I, I know I did because I had the VHS tape, but I don't remember anything from it. I know the concept though. I did go watch the live action movie though in theaters. I don't know why. <laughs> Spoiler alert, the live action was okay for me. Emma Watson, gorgeous, beautiful, sophisticated, love her, but she can't sing. That's why I don't have a problem with the Little Mermaid casting because she has a beautiful voice. This movie, the live action was cast to look exactly like the cartoon and I had to listen to like terrible auto-tune songs but good for her for getting her Disney check. So the description for this is just embark on an epic adventure with Belle, Beast, and all the characters you love with the music you'll never forget. Like I feel like they just added this in retrospect instead of just adding what the description was when it was initially released. Once upon a time. Ooh, we got once upon a time. The prince was spoiled selfish and unkind oh this is a little stained glass story time the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress the prince tried to apologize but it was too late yeah i probably do the same <laughs> petty as fuck <laughs> ashamed of his monstrous form the beast concealed himself inside his castle aren't his parents not even a thing in this movie enchanted rose which would bloom until his 21st year Honestly, I'm shocked. This is an old-timey ass setting, but they're waiting until he turns 21 instead of like the other movies where he was 15. And also, didn't she turn him when he was like 12 years old? Every time they do like those which Disney princess are you, I always get this guy because she loves to read and apparently Virgos are so smart. I want someone else. I always like the Scorpio ones because they're more like evilly and I like that. There goes the baker with his train. Oh, I think I remember the song. Bonjour. Good day. Who is your wife? Oh, she just has her teeth. Wow, the 90s were scandalous. I just finished the most wonderful story about a beanstalk and an ogre oh, and that's a... nice. I've come to return the book I borrowed. Finished already? Oh, I couldn't put it down. She couldn't put down Jack and the Giant Beanstalk? <laughs> Can you guys imagine? Look, there she goes, the girl is so peculiar. They're calling her peculiar because she reads. Is this a progressive movie? She's nothing like the rest of us. Oh. Y'all don't read? What the fuck? After how many movies of watching it from the animal perspective, they're just gonna show us a poor little animal get killed like that? The lucky girl I'm going to marry. But she's the most beautiful girl in town. I know, but that makes her the best. They also made his character gay in the live action, so I'm wondering if there's a little undertone in this one. Here in town, there's only she who is beautiful as me. <laughs> Oh, there are two. Okay, so no gay undertones. He's feeding for them. Or perhaps both. Was that a little kitty on the fish? That's adorable. Whole town's talking about it. It's not right for a woman to read. Oh, right, right, okay. It's literally just because she reads. The library's there. He's not like, oh, you're a woman, get out. So y'all have the option to learn to read. Y'all just don't. Interesting. Come on, me. it's a shortcut. We'll be there in no time. How do you? Okay, whatever. Fucking Belle's dad. Oh, I remember where that song came from. It was like, there goes that cracker that I see each morning, right? <laughs> Did he have it remodeled to fit his beast aesthetic? Because <laughs> all the little workers also got turned, so who changed this around for him? And where are his parents? How would you like a nice pot of tea, sir? It'll warm you it's up. Chip. You know. Is that his name, I think? The little guy? Hello! Oh, did you drop him? 
You see, he has very evil statues and decorations. You're not welcome here! I, I, I'm sorry. What are you staring at? Insecure. Gaston, what a pleasant surprise. Oh, he's so creepy. I'd be so terrified of him. Can you imagine? He asked me to marry him. Me, the wife of that boorish... I mean, he just demanded it. I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. I want it more than I can tell. Okay, she, she's not into the whole marriage shit. So the way this movie ends is like, mm. I want so much more than they've got planned. Maybe she's not saying she doesn't want to get married, she just doesn't want to get married in this poor ass fucking town. <laughs> Is anyone here? Hello? Everything's so evil, look at that. All these statues and gargoyles. Oh, duh, when everything got turned, they probably all turned evil too. You must promise to stay here forever. Come into the light. You couldn't tell what he was before that? My man has horns. Please! She's no longer your concern. Take him to the village. The poor dad. Let me so out. Let me out. Oh, the carriage is also a person. Say something to her. Huh? Oh. This guy has developed zero social skills, and they want him to get a wife in like a day. We were quarantined for like what a few months, and I personally didn't know how to talk to people after that. No one says no to Gaston. <laughs> Done. He's so fucking gross and creepy and weird. No one's got us well cleft in his chin like Gaston. I have a cleft in my chin like Gaston. <laughs> Gaston is the best and the rest is all Yeah, Yo, this guy has a whole town riding him. That's crazy. Will no one help me? I wonder if his plan worked if the dad would have agreed to let him marry her. I feel like he would still be like, thanks, but no. Have you thought that perhaps this girl could be the one to break the spell? Of course I have! You fall in love with her, she falls in love with you. He just lights it up himself. That's so cute. She is being so difficult gently will you come down to dinner no mm -hmm. mm. teach kids to take no for an answer Beg! show me the girl it's another magic mirror oh no oh yes 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 <laughs> i've been burnt by you before <laughs> damn i must suck not being able to smash because you're, you're inanimate objects into the cupboard with your brothers and sisters Brothers and sisters? Same girl, how many kids you got? 15, 20 kids. She's not a prisoner. She's our guest. We must make her feel welcome. Oh, this is a Be Our Guest song. But the banquet's all prepared. No one's gloomy or complaining. It's a lot of staff. Good old days are gone. Oh. Ten years we've been rusting, needing so much more than dusting. Oh, ten years. See, this is the this is where that whole theory comes that he was just like eleven years old. So I fucked up of that witch to turn him into this beast and only have true love fix it when he's fucking eleven. So I mean, she expects him to find true love when he's eleven or have to wait until he's appropriate age, which is years. <laughs> There's a lot of each ones, just some of them have eyes and a mouth and the others don't. He said, can you guys make sure to keep it down? They have a whole musical number. Now it's off to bed, off to bed. Oh, I couldn't possibly go to bed now. Does she even eat? I'm not sure that's such a good idea. We can't let her go poking around in certain places if you know what I mean. Oh, the fucking West Wing, right? What was over there? His disgusting room? Uh, the, the gardens or, or the, the library, perhaps. Ooh, library. She can read Jack and the Giant Beanstalk again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I warned you never to come here. I didn't mean any harm. If he told me, don't go to the West Wing, I would be like, sir, what the fuck is West? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Wait, feel bad for <laughs> Oh, he got fucked up. He got jumped. Uh, 
Who is this crib keeper? So you want me to throw her father into the asylum unless she agrees to marry you? Oh, I thought he was gonna agree to help the dad. Well, Maurice! Oh well. <laughs> I guess it's not gonna work after all. <laughs> They just walked in and he's saying that. It's fucking funny. <laughs> Dogs are the best. They're just always happy no matter what. This guy's a foot rest and he's having the time of his life. It's a surprise. No, <laughs> he's so excited. That's so cute. It goes a cracker that I see each morning. Now. Honestly, most of my books are fucking fairy tales. I don't know why I'm laughing at Jack and the Giant Bean song. <laughs> most of my books are like collections or books about murder. Is that an Aurora dress? That's just sugar. <laughs> that fucking face. See, unfortunately, I'm the beast. I am not the beauty. Can no man in it have an ass bitch. <laughs> There's something sweet. Our dimples. I have one dimple. I don't know if you guys have noticed. This one's like barely there. I wonder why I didn't see it there before. I remember the song. It sounds so bad in the live action movie. Your lady awaits. <laughs> Oh my god, this dress. This dress is beautiful. My fucking god, I love her dress. I think I had like a doll. Guys, people would give me dolls all the time when I was little because I'm a girl and they thought I would like it, but I didn't like them. I would literally... This is sound bad, I'm sorry. I would keep their little clothes because I liked how tiny they were and they uh, toss out their bodies somewhere. But I remember having a bell Barbie and it had this pretty dress. Somebody bends unexpectedly. Also, the Ariana Grande and John Legend cover. Beautiful. Loved it. Ever just the same. Yo, my girls fall in love with the fucking beast. You were wrong. When I'm rich, I'm gonna do this to my house. So y'all better fucking subscribe. <laughs> Ooh, dim in the lights. Oh, we can see stars. Yeah, we don't see stars in New York. <laughs> Once we go upstate. Oh, shooting star. Make a wish, guys. Are you happy here with me? Yes. Because you don't have a choice? If only I could see my father again. There is a way. Oh, the mirror? Oh, we're gonna see him get fucking sent to the psych ward. Oh, he's struggling yeah. outside. You're no longer my prisoner. You mean... I'm free? Oh wow, this is the, the lesson. If you love someone, you have to let them go. And if they really loved you, they'll come back. I feel like that's supposed to rhyme, but I don't remember it. Oddly enough, the 365 Days movies taught me that. Like the rest of it. I let her go. <laughs> yes, yes. Splendid. You. What? Sorry, you're staying o'clock forever. Oh, I thought he stayed there. It's so weird because he kind of sounds like Olaf, but didn't ja Josh Gad play him? And he also played him in the live action. He's changed somehow. <gasps> oh, I didn't know that Chip snuck along for the ride. Ew. May I help Sir. You? Come to collect your father. He looks like one of those guys from Paranorman, the zombies. Care of him. Asylum de loons. <laughs> oh my god. Beast will make off with your children. He'll come after them in the night. No. We're not safe till his head is mounted on my wall. Oh, he decorates his walls with horns. The beast has horns. Oh, just realized she doesn't have a mom. Oh my god, and Chips doesn't have a dad. Also, I think that they didn't really portray princesses having children. Because most of the, the women who have children look a little older. And I don't think they wanted to make their princesses older. Or have, like, young princesses with children oh that's my theory i mean ariel's the exception it's the only one that i've seen with a child i'm gonna imagine having a fight a fucking chair oh 
These are all, all of them. Aww. Oh, that was a horse. Oh my god, wait, some of them are broken. Or oh, when they turn back into humans, they're gonna be just limbs sprued about. Is that the word? Sprown? Sprued? Fucking all over the place. I fully thought she was gonna let her kids just jump on this guy and break. I don't know why I thought that. Oh, he's melting. His brain. So <gasps> ripping her hair out. I don't even know if that's her hair because it's the bottom of her. Again, are these not equivalent to their limbs? Whatever, I'm sure everyone's fine. <laughs> I think that's my favorite one. Okay, no one's broken there. Guy, you did not help your, your staff once. What did you think was gonna happen? You turned away while this weirdo has an arrow pointed at you? Please, don't hurt me! I'll do anything! Such a pussy. Gaston, I would've fucking stepped on your neck. See? Oh. Even if I was Belle, I would have stepped on your neck. Wow, he fully died. His body's just gonna rot there forever while they get married. Do they get married in this movie? I don't even know. And then they have a little kiss kiss. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, he's alive. I thought they kiss and he turns into a fucking human. I hate feet so fucking much. I don't know if I've ever said that. <laughs> I fucking hate them. Belle. Oh, you're so lucky he's handsome. You would still like him if he looked like the other character, but like just it's lucky that he wasn't. <laughs> crazy because she didn't know about the spell they never once talked about a spell every time they were about to bring it up quickly got cut off and she still fell in love with him thinking that he was just like an animal oh so yeah it was all magic i thought he fucking got like a redecorator or something mrs potts <laughs> look at us you see what i mean like the moms look so much older oh like that's a little ass boy <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna go smash. Aw, oh, you fuck locked. Are they gonna live happily ever after, Mama? <laughs> Where are your other children? Do I still have to sleep in the cupboard? <laughs> oh, The trauma, let's laugh about it. <laughs> Where are her other children? I just see one. See what I mean? Like they're hanging out, having a ball. Gaston's body is decomposing somewhere down below. There goes that crack I see each morning. Wow, guys, a movie that I don't really have nostalgia for. Still a 10 out of 10, 30 years later. That was a great movie. I just, I love that, you know, Belle is an up and coming woman. She's not trying to just marry any loser from this poor ass village. She wants bigger and better things. And I feel like that's a great message. It was more so the bigger picture of just getting better and bigger things. So I don't know why everyone talked about Frozen like it was so groundbreaking. Like, yeah, she didn't fucking marry a prince. You know, she didn't fall in love and immediately marry him. But I feel like with this story, she met him. She liked his personality. They spent time together. It was kind of forced, but you know, there was some actual relationship formed aside from just strangers to in love. She even called him her friend. So I feel like we should give a little credit to this movie, you know? Music, 10 out of 10. Love the visuals. Love everything about that. This movie was really good. I don't know why I didn't really reach for this movie as much as a child. Like Cinderella Little Mermaid, I remember, remember. This movie, not really. Alright guys, let me know what you thought down below and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>